Hello guys, it's been a while, I know. Today, as I promised, I wanted to show you how I use my own set of brushes. This time I'm gonna be using the ones to draw as a marker pencil look. Many of you have asked me how exactly achieve that look because some of you have been having trouble to get the, the same, I don't know, the same texture, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna explain exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the video in the same pace that I draw, so it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to explain wherever it's happening right now. So as you can see, I'm using a base sketch, which I have put on lower opacity. And this time I'm just gonna do in the line art, perfecting the lines. And this line art is gonna be the one that you will see on the final drawing. So I'm trying to do it slowly and erasing any imperfect details because it has to be perfect. For this one, I'm using the medium pencil color with a pink color and as you can see, I'm always using light colors and you may ask why. You can use wherever you want. What I'm trying here to do is achieve the exactly the same quality level that I do with my own sketchbook. So if you have seen my traditional art, I usually use pink lids and lately I'm using also an orange pencil lid and they look freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so here I start to do exactly the same. Also, if you use a darker color as the finish color, it looks better if you use it in the zones at shadows. So I'm gonna use a third color, it's gonna be a purplish tone. That's how I get that uh, look because I go three times over the same sketch. So if you are just doing a first quick sketch, it's gonna look pale and without that kind of texture and maybe that's what are you lacking so try to to go over again at least twice and it will look maybe not exactly the same because i have more practice because i've been using this exactly pencil for at least two months now so it comes naturally per se so yeah just try to do that maybe that's the trick <laughs> i'm not sure but that's what i'm doing I'm using a master color and it will look like everything together orange so yeah you may say you can just orange and just go over one time but it never will be the same so now I'm gonna leave you with the sketch part and I'm gonna return back on the next step
So as you can see in here, everything has more of a bold tone and it looks really nice. I like to use uh, the darker tone, here I use it everywhere, but usually if I want to have it more of a light tone, I will use it just in the shallow parts. The next step, as you can see, is new layer and we are gonna paint all the base color. I'm gonna be using the under texture pencil, the medium one. This one, it has a slight texture. It tries to mimic the acopic marker when it's scanned. Here it's just gonna be me going super slowly, what? <laughs> going super slowly, trying to go all over the drawing. Since the, the drawing is pretty simple, I'm not gonna many layers but that's pretty much all. I'm gonna turn back to the next step and explain to you what I'm doing. It's almost finished here and right now I'm gonna keep using exactly the same brush and just do new layers which they are gonna be in clipping mask. In here I'm gonna change that base color because I want the bear to be in a yellowish tone. So I just put the layer in alpha block. So that means that you block all the pixels that are transparent and you can paint all over the ones that are already painted. So you can just change color without touching the, the rest of the drawing. So here I did a new layer which I'm gonna put in clipping mask and that means that I'm just gonna be painting all over the parts that are already painted and it's also faster. I don't know, it's the little tricks that, <laughs> that makes everything fast. You might ask why I'm not doing the auto filling and it's because I'm gonna lose the texture of the brush and I don't want that so I'm gonna fill all the parts myself. As you may know with these brushes came two palettes and these palettes are the exact same colors that I use for my Copics. These are the ones I'm using right now because are the colors that I always use. It's pretty handy. So yeah, I will talk to you on the next step.
So for the next part, I'm gonna be doing the... I'm gonna... <laughs> it's funny because I'm, I'm looking what I'm doing and it's like, you are a mess. Well, I'm trying to do the shadows as best as possible. As you can see, I don't do exactly perfect shadows because I don't think they go well with my drawings. So I like to do round and cute shadows. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah. First of all, I'm using just a random color. I set a new layer into Multiply and Clipping Mask and go all over the drawing. If you don't know which colors to use, a uh, pale pink and pale purple look really good with almost all colors. And in here I could just be leaving that this way, but some of the shadows are a bit darker and I like the leaf with a bluish tone. And the rest of the drawing I'm gonna leave it just pretty much the same. But the trick it's gonna be in the next step, which I'm gonna do a new layer, set it this time on the screen, and we are gonna be using the over texture brush. With this brush, we are gonna be doing the last step to get the copied marker texture. So I'm gonna be doing it all over the drawing. In the last tutorial, I told you to use the same color as the base, but I have discovered that if you use like a yellowish tone, it almost looks good with everything, at least with pinks, yellows and greens. This is why I'm only using one color. And after that, just set the layer into a lower opacity until you feel it's right. So if I want to go faster, what I'm going to do is to duplicate the screen layer and set it to multiply. Just move it a little bit until I like the, the texture it's showing up. After that, I'm going to be using the stamp and yeah, the drawing is finished. So I hope this helped. I know my English is not perfect. I'm going to be using captions anyway. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And you can check out my brushes. There's also a ton of examples on my Instagram, which I will leave in the description box down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.